Hey YouTubers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thanks for watching. In this video, we're going to run you through the step-by-step -step process on how to change your calipers on your Toyota Camry. The first thing I recommend doing is supporting the rear tires with blocks. We are going to be lifting up the front end and have the front end supported on jack stands. While the car is resting on the jack stands, you do not want the car to shift. After that, let's hop inside and set the emergency brake. Before you even position the jack, to lift the vehicle up to support it on jack stands, loosen the lug nuts a couple turns. The reason why is because once you get this car on the jack stand, you do not want to be tugging it to loosen those lug nuts. That will increase the possibility of the vehicle falling off the jack stands. You do not want that. Position the jack and the jack stand. Once we position this correctly and safely, we are going to release and remove the jack. Jack is removed, the jack stand is supporting the vehicle we are going to remove all of the lug nuts and pull the tire off. This is a very important step. Prior to loosening or removing anything, direct your attention to this bolt here. This is what secures the brake line onto the caliper. Break this loose while everything's tight because in the event that you don't, and it's very tight with this bracket laying on top of the rotor, it's going to be very difficult to get this off without harming this hose, and that's what you do not want to do. So again, break this loose and then tighten it back up so it doesn't leak. Grab your 14 millimeter socket and remove the top and bottom caliper slide bolts. Rotate this caliper up and rest it on top of this plate. Do not let it hang from this brake line. You do not want to harm this brake line in this entire project. Next on the rear, 17 millimeter bolt on top and bottom. Go ahead and remove those. That will allow you to take this old bracket off Remove your brake pads, put these new pads on the new caliper. After removing both those 17 millimeter bolts, carefully remove this bracket. And take mental note on how these brake pads are positioned. You've got this tab on the inner portion. You want to put the new brake pad into the new caliper the same way they are here. Go ahead and pinch these in. Those come off pretty easy. Set those aside. I'm going to take this one off first and position it down and into the new caliper. Pads are in and secure. Clips are properly aligned and secure. And the clips that we took off earlier, believe it or not, those become irrelevant because once you flip this caliper upside down, you can see that the pads are held in as such. And these clips are no longer needed. At this point, we'll take the old bracket, set that aside, and if you have not done so yet, grab some anti-seize lubricant, the 17 millimeter bolts, go ahead and lubricate those and all the thread, and we will position this caliper back on the rotor and secure the 17 millimeter bolts. Seventeen millimeter bolts are secure at this point. The 14 millimeter bolt that you already broke loose and retightened, we are going to remove that and transfer this brake line to the new caliper. However, very important, our goal is to leak very minimal brake fluid. So coming up top, I'm going to pop this off and verify that our reservoir is at the max fill line. And I'm going to go as fast as I can, removing it here and re-securing it onto the new caliper. On the bottom side, this little plastic tab here, pull that out, and that is where you are going to re-secure. I'm going to use the new bolt that came with the new caliper, as well as washers. New bolt, as far as where the washers are to be positioned, the brake line part right there will go in between the two washers. Bolt is on and secure. And verify no leaks. I recommend waiting about 5 to 10 minutes prior to doing any additional steps. Come back in 5 to 10 minutes. Just make sure that there are no leaks. Before we take the old caliper back to the store and get our core value, we're going to take off the bleeder rubber cover and put that on the new cover. Grab your brake fluid dot 3 and fill to the fill line. Not any more than that. And what I will do now is I'll hop to the opposite side, the passenger side. I will complete the step-by-step -step procedures that I showed you in this video. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to come back and I'm going to properly bleed 
the entire system. That's it, a pretty simple project as long as those rusty bolts don't give you pain. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, I hope it helps. Make sure you turn on your YouTube notifications by that every video we upload. You will be notified, you will be able to stay up to date with us and that'll be awesome, thanks again. Last step, put the tire on, secure it, both sides, take it for a test drive.